My name is Penny Maudsley. I'm a barrister at Alexander Chambers, formerly a nurse and midwife in practice. Um, and my main area of practice is healthcare regulatory law. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the regulation of physician and anaesthesia associates and the revised good medical practice. So the objectives of today's webinar is firstly to outline uh, the role of the physician associate and the anaesthesia associate. Then we'll look at the government reforms and the GMC's response to any reforms. And then finally, we will look at the changes to the General Medical Council's good medical practice. So looking firstly at the medical associates. Due to growing and ageing populations with multiple complex comorbidities and evolving healthcare needs, the National Health Service has had to adapt and expand the workforce to accommodate those needs. Therefore, in 2015, Health Education England commenced a programme of work to establish what is known as the Medical Associate Professions, or otherwise MAPs. Now, the MAPs include Physician Associates, otherwise shortened to the PA, the Anesthesia Associates, referred to as AAs, and uh, the surgical care practitioners, otherwise known as SCPs. So we're only concentrating on the physician associates and the anaesthesia associates, because those are the uh, medical uh, associate professions that are being regulated by the GMC. The surgical care practitioners are to be regulated by the NMC. 